Hi everyone, I'm Mihoko for Hey Singapore. In this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new freehold apartment in central Osaka. This apartment is within one kilometer from Osaka Castle and uh, in between Sakai Sujihonmachi Station and the Tanimachi Yonjome Station. It's a kind of business area. Let's check out Brands Tower Tanimachi Yonjome. So this is a shelf flat of uh, two bedroom flat, 60 uh, square meters. When you go in, there is a shoe box. You open up the doors. It's actually a floor to ceiling kind of uh, shoe box. So you, I think there is uh, enough storage for shoes. Next to the shoe box, uh, there is a shoes in closet. So it's kind of walking uh, storage area with the uh, power socket. After a very short corridor, you have a toilet. You open up the door. It's a very simple toilet with cabinets at the top. So you can store um, you know, toilet rolls and things like that. The toilet comes with wash leg function. Let's check out the bathroom. When you go in, there's a wash basin. And underneath is the cabinets and uh, these mirror doors behind the mirror doors are actually cabinets and the bathroom itself when you go in this is called 1418 type uh, size bathroom with the dryer function so you can actually hang the, uh, the clothes to dry up the wash basin is nice and seamless now let's check out the kitchen when you go into the kitchen area, there's the quite a, a large sink and the cabinet area, which is optional. It has quite a lot of uh, storage space. Kitchen hood and the gas hob. Below the hob is the fish roaster. Next to it is the small dishwasher. Obviously, I couldn't open here because it was not a drawer. So let's check out other drawers. So it's a, a very functional design, like you can just maximize the drawer spaces uh, in a small kitchen. This kind of kitchen, you really have to minimize uh, uh, your kitchen utensils and plates and cups and things like that. This is where you can put pots. It's quite deep and large. This area you can place a fridge. Next check out the living dining area. It's actually there's no space to put the dining table I think. So you, you probably just put a three-seater sofa and put maybe like a large coffee table and that's all about it. The living room has gas floor heating system. Now check out the balcony. In Japan, the balcony area is not included in the area. So 60 square meters doesn't include this. This is a master bedroom with uh, uh, kind of fixed uh, windows. Just enough space to place a queen size bed, I think. But the windows are almost floor to ceiling. There are small um, wardrobes coming with the room. It's not a walk-in wardrobe, it's actually quite compact, but it is still a floor to ceiling uh, uh, wardrobe space. Considering Japan has four seasons, uh, this wardrobe space is a little bit limited. But Japan being Japan, it's actually quite uh, um, still functional. As I mentioned earlier, in this apartment, many windows are actually fixed. The windows provide limited ventilation. Although there is a dining set, uh, this is the second uh, bedroom. Comes with the wardrobe as well. You can probably place a single bed and maybe a small desk. There was another uh, half-size shelf flat for 78 square meters units, but uh, uh, these units are all sold out. This is a master bedroom of uh, this type of flat. Um, I think it's quite a, a 
reasonably large for Japanese apartment. This is a, a kitchen, living, dining area. The kitchen size is actually quite similar to uh, the smaller unit, but it has a kind of dining area which is converted to study, and this is the actual living area. Looking at this room, I think it's nice to have over 75 square meters for three bedroom unit. Thanks for watching. See you at the next video.